know. This is just how she goes, bro. And what's crazy is, is that all of us as individuals, before I start this video, are uniquely ourselves. Like there cannot be a second you. There can't be a second Dwayne Rock Johnson. There can't be a second Conor McGregor. There can't be a second of anybody. But the thing here is, is that existing as yourself is not enough. I cannot sit here and lie to you and tell you it is because it is not. And anybody who tells you you're good enough as you exist is selling you a false dream. You will live a life, not your best one. So what kind of garbage advice is that? <laughs> it's to keep you right down there with them. And that's the thing. Most people that ain't doing so hot will never give you the best advice. Just pay close attention to these individuals because they want you staying right where they're at. And even if you are doing hot, people around you, bro, at some point is going to give you bad advice because they don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you be the best Terry Joel Jr. They don't want to see you be the best Dwayne The Rock Johnson. They don't want to see you be the best Conor McGregor. They don't want to see you the best whatever your name is. We are all individuals on earth. And we all have to figure things out. That's how it has to be. You have to think, bro. You have to brainstorm. And that's not what these other individuals in the world want from us. They don't want us to think for ourselves. They want to try to project all this fear onto us to keep us stuck right where they're at, especially if they see you succeeding. Because they hate the chosen ones, they hate what is in you that is missing in themselves. And this is exactly why you have to keep shining. Because they hate it. Do you not think they want to be the best versions of themselves? Do you not think that? They wish they could. But they don't want to do the work. They don't want to take the steps to actually become the best versions of themselves. Some people I truly believe are not even smart enough or intelligent enough to become the best versions of themselves because they don't humble themselves enough to educate themselves enough to do the right things. And it's what you must do. You must humble yourself to get ahead in life. You don't get ahead in life without humbling yourself. You simply don't. Even Andrew Tate, for example, like people see him speaking all the time and being loud and, and, and all that kind of stuff. People didn't see him when he was younger, listening to his kickboxing coaches all the time, doing what he was told all the time. Because that was the reality of his life for a very long time. Because he listened. And that's what you have to do. You have to listen to the right information and you have to apply it. If I tell you to eat healthy, it, when you're not, are you going to eat healthy? Because if you don't, you're not going to get W's in life. Because if you're not healthy, you can't be wealthy. So. And when you're just that person that chooses to be your best self, You're going to have a lot of haters, bro, because a lot of people do not choose to be the best versions of themselves. 
at all. And they hate to see what's in you that is not in themselves. They hate what is missing in themselves, what you have within yourself. Because obviously something's missing in them that you have that they just don't. You probably humbled yourself more. You probably learned more. You probably were hungrier. You probably wanted it more. You probably suffered more. You were probably more intelligent about the way you lived your life. More intelligent of your life choices. And there's no going around this, bro, because everything is going to show. Everything is going to pop up eventually. That's the beautiful thing. Like on my personal journey, and you guys can take from this, there's so many people that said this and that, that and this, but then all of a sudden, things ain't lining up. The things they're saying is not adding up. Because they were lying. Blatantly lying. Blatantly, blatantly slandering my name. And it all comes back onto them and then they disappear like the cowards they are. You see them in real life, they freeze. Because you scare the hell of them, bro. Because you have something within you that they have never had. Never. You was the one. You was chosen. And they was chosen for nothing. Just to be here. Just to exist. You're just simply willing to do things of what most other people will not do. Like the things you do is not what other people are doing. It's just not. They can't do it, bro. They cannot keep up. They cannot push themselves the way you push yourself. They can't think the way you think. They're not as creative as you are. They're not as humble as you are either. And these same buffoons will come and say, I'm not humble for saying these things because it's shaming. These people are backwards, bro. They're mixed up. They don't understand life. Anything that challenges them and their ways of doing and being gets presented with, oh, he's this. Oh, she's that. When it's actually the right things. But they're too brain dead to understand that. Which is why they take the approach against you to hate, to not appreciate, because simply there's something missing in them that you have that they don't. So they're going to hate on you, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're going to hate on you. And you was the one that had the whole damn time. People just was not seeing it. They just weren't seeing it. Until all of a sudden, they can't unsee it because they did see it. And now they're running away like cowards. They cannot face life. They can't face adversity. They cannot face you. They just stay mad. You mad. You make these people upset, bro. You make these people absolutely furious. They want to believe they're better than you when they're just not because they did not do the things you've done. You become better by doing things you should do. Not by doing things you shouldn't do. So whoever does those things that they should be doing and doing the right thing over time is going to be much superior to the person who does not do those things. You can miss one day and you won't be at the level that I'm at. That's just how life is. It's building blocks. And I know how to build. I know how to win. And winning does not happen overnight, folks. You don't get the girl of your dreams overnight just because you exist as you are. It takes work. It takes perseverance. It takes five, ten years of losing your damn mind. And that's all the things that so many people don't want to go through. They don't want to suffer. 
they don't want to feel those feelings, so they do other things that does not involve the suffering to distract themselves from the life they probably should be on, but are not. And when you're on that path, you will be hated. You will be envied. You won't have many friends, if any at all. There was years I literally had zero friends. And before that, I had like way too many. And then it come down to like such a few and then zero. And then slowly, you become a completely different person and you start to build a bit of friendship back up and some real shit. And that's the way it should have been all along because you're highly intelligent and you self-identified how things actually should be. You were being someone that was just unlike who you're actually going to become and you had to let that go. And you noticed it fast and you let it go. Because if you kept being that same person, you're never gonna become who you're supposed to become. So sometimes guys, you have to let go. If you're playing tug of war and you have a rope wrapped around your hand and someone else has the same thing and you guys are pulling back and forth, it's gonna do a lot of damage to your hand if you hold, if you keep tight on that, on that rope. Sometimes it's best to just let that go, to save yourself the damage. Just let it go. Let whoever get a win right now. Okay, let the girl go. Let her have that win. Don't fight for her back. Just let it go. Because you're going to go back and you're going to go to the drawing board and you're going to do the right things through thick and thin, which is what a lot of people cannot humble themselves enough to do, which is what I've done. And people can say whatever they want. They're full of shit. They can say otherwise about me or you or any of us. They're full of shit. <laughs> Only the real ones will understand this, bro. And all the other fakes are just going to be in their feelings. They're going to be mad at us. Because <laughs> we is him. We is him. And they're not. And they're mad about it. <laughs> they mad about it. Yeah. They mad about it. What do you want me to do? I didn't even do nothing. They just don't want to give you credit, bro. They don't want to give you respect. They don't want to acknowledge that you are who you are. You become who you become and you'll continue to become who you become. They don't want to do it. They'd rather be just little sissy cats and just whatever, I guess. Just play it off as nothing, just no respect. And these are people personally I don't like. I think you're a dickhead. I think I'm not gonna, you know, if you could ever pull your head out of your ass, maybe I could have a conversation with you again. I'm not sure. But there's a lot of those dickheads out there today, bruh. They just wanna be mad for no reason towards you. And <laughs> it's the most ridiculous shit you'll ever see in your life. I don't know how many of you have experienced this, but I've experienced much of this. Like, not just from one person, from very, a, a lot of people over the years, not just like right now, over the years, I've experienced a whole lot of this. And it continues to happen, little bits at places at times. And it makes no sense. And then again, they make no sense. That's why they're upset. Because you make sense. They don't. You do. You have something within you that they have missing within themselves. That's why they're mad. That's why they're upset. At you, specifically, because you expose that within them. You come around and they're upset. Because you the king. Am I speaking facts or am I speaking facts? They mad about it, bruh. And they can't just humble themselves to give you any bit of respect. They don't gotta get down and kiss your toes. But where's the respect? They simply won't do it because they're too prideful and arrogant. That's a good way to hold yourself back.
And they always flip it on us and make it seem like we're that way because we've actually done something in life. We've actually grinded it out for five, 10, 15 years, whatever it is. They want to flip it on us and make it seem like we're the bad people. You know, they probably wouldn't even be the way they are if they would have taken the route that you've taken. Not exactly the route, but like the route they needed to take in the way you took yours in their own way. They wouldn't even be like that, bro, because they would understand. They'd be on the same tip. They would understand the things you understand. That is why so many of you as well watch my videos, because you guys understand the things that I'm saying. Which a lot of these modern day society sissies do not understand. And they're just forever mad. And they'll never improve because they don't want to go through those trenches. They don't want to go through those times that they have to go through. They don't want to be seen struggling, bro. They don't want to be seen at bottom at all. They have maybe they have they they might have the littlest bit of popularity, and I mean little. Nothing significant at all. They want to hold on to that. They don't want to be seen starting from scratch. They don't want to be seen as the underdog. They don't want to be seen as any of those things. And it's exactly why they will flunk their entire lives. And they will be the laughing stock. Not you. They will be. And you're the one. When you can start from scratch and do certain things, you are the exact person that those fools are laughing at first. And then you rise above them and they're nowhere to be seen. They're nowhere to be heard. They're just off somewhere mad. Anytime you come by, they get pissed. Because there's a winner in plain sight because you simply chose to win. And they cannot stand you because of it, bro. What you have in you is missing in them. They know this. And that's why whenever you come around them, they're so arrogant. They're like literally mad, bro. They're furious. They're entitled. They think they deserve victories because you have them. Deep down, they think they're better than you, but they're not even close. You could crush them like a can. These people make me laugh hysterically, bro. I'll beat your ass at anything, buddy. Stop. And this is why you don't deal with these individuals. You just don't. They're just against you, bro. Like, for no reason. They can't come around you and act half decent. They're just against you 24-7 for no reason. Giving you attitude all the time for no reason. Cannot keep or hold a conversation with you because you just make them emotional. Because you're successful and they're not. Because you chose to win and they can't. Or whatever it might be. This is all facts, bro. When you've been through it, bro, when you've done certain things, you can see the world and the truth for what it genuinely is. Nothing gets by you. Nothing. Especially not that low-level bullshit. <laughs> of course not. I don't even care how good you think you are, what you can do, what's possible, what I could do. The only thing that matters in this world is what you do do. And that's the hard part. It's easy to imagine us. Yeah, I think I could do this. Yeah, I could probably do that. I could yeah, I'd probably get into this. Yeah, I think I could go really good with that. Yeah. It's easy to think. You know what's the hard part? Doing. Doing. You have to beat your own mind, bro. Your mind's going to tell you, oh, I don't want to do certain things. You have to. That's when you must. Because every time you don't do that, you're in a losing situation. There's things I've done many times, bro, that was super uncomfortable. And there's parts of your mind that's like, nah, I don't want to do this. Shit. You feel a bit of nerves. You feel a certain way because we're human. And 
know what? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it anyways. And you do it. You put yourself in that situation. You feel uncomfortable at first. It feels not so familiar. And all of a sudden you start to catch your groove in that situation. Those are small wins that if you can have this method in life and go forward in life with this method, when things feel uncomfortable, when things feel weird, uh, you want to do it, but you don't want to do it, uh, do it. That's when you must do it. If you don't, you're getting L's. You're putting L's in your daily life that should not be there. And it's holding you back more than you'll ever know. That's the thing, bro. <laughs> you have to beat your own mind. You have to beat your own mind. You have to be solid. I, I really think, bro, things I went through in the past is a big reason for a lot of what I've done today. A lot of the good things that I've done today and how hard I'm able to work and how hard I'm able to go because of all the crazy stuff that happened to me in the past that rubbed me the wrong way, bro. And I feel like I always had this toughness about myself and this durability, but like that just, it, it just woke me up. It just, like I, I refuse to lose. If anything in life comes my way and tries to make me lose in any way, I'm going to win over whatever comes my way that tries to win over me. I will win. That's just who I am. It's what's in me. It is what is in me, bro. I won't stop. Like I will die right then and there trying to win what I have to win because I want to win that bad. And there's certain things in the past that caused me to take such L's that made me so damn mad, frustrated, sad, angry, bitter. There's just so many things what I felt when certain things have happened to me. And I used all that as fuel. And I never let go of it, bro. You have to let that kind of stuff fuel you. That's what you have to do. It's gonna take you so far. And honestly, it just, it wakes you up. It, 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 it turns you in a beast mode of who you actually should be. When things are going so well for such a long time, you should be worried, bro, because something catastrophic is gonna come down. Something catastrophic. Why do you think so many females have their way for such a long time and all of a sudden it drops. Cause you can only have your way for such a long time before that drop comes. You don't get your way the way you see things and the way you think things are gonna be your entire life. It's never gonna be that way. A good majority of things went my way whenever I was a younger kid and teenager until all of a sudden it didn't. My early twenties was horrendous. Like I would say 22 to like 25, 26 at tops was the hardest years of my life. Easily. Brutal. And it just goes to show life is not perfect all the time. Things are going to happen and you have to be prepared for it. You have to be ready for whatever comes your way and you have to take it head on and you have to do something about it. That's the difference between you and a lot of modern day schmucks out there that just don't understand life. They don't even want to understand life, bro. They don't even want to have real conversations because of pressure. It puts too much pressure on them. Oh, uh, what? Please, no. What? They don't want, they don't want the smoke. They don't want the smoke, bro. And if you don't want the smoke, how do you expect to do anything? I want all the smoke. I want the smoke. Where's the smoke? I'm ready. This is what a lot of people are not willing to do. 
This is what a lot of people are not willing to think. They have no definite a purpose. They don't want to go after anything. They don't want to fight for anything. I want to continue to fight to the day I die. Doing hard things. I, like There's just things you have to do on a daily basis that you don't necessarily want to do, but you're going to do it anyway because you're going to put up a fight. Even if you're in like a boxing club or something like this and you're about to spar some really good guy, it's like you don't necessarily want to do it. There's those fighting nerves there, but you do it anyways. You, you get in there and as soon as it's going on, you don't feel it no more. Thinking about it on your way to the gym and getting your gloves on and stuff, it's like, damn, this is about to go down. And you're going to do it, but it's like, yep, yeah, this is going to be tough. This is going to be rough. And all of a sudden, you step in that ring and Buddy's across from you and you're in the other corner. It's all good. We're here. Accept it. Putting yourself in those positions, bro. And that's just an example of one of many. But it's very, it's very powerful. It takes guts. It takes balls. Those are the positions. Those are the things more people in life have to face. And when you're that person that's willing to face those things, you automatically have something in you that most of others don't, that they lack. So when you come around, people are just mad, bro. People just mad for no good reason. And I can take a loss, bro. I will lose all day long and keep going, keep going, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. It doesn't bother me none. This is just how I'm built. It don't matter to me because I'm eventually going to win. And that's what matters. And if I beat you, you're done. Let's say there's, there's a really good guy wrestling or something like this. I'll keep wrestling and wrestling, wrestle, 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 wrestle until I win. And as soon as I win, I'm probably going to win every other time after that. Because that's just how it is. Because I've gotten that good to be able to beat you. And now I'm going to keep beating you because I know I cracked the code. I know what to do. And once I win, I'm going to win. And that's how it's going to go. I don't have a problem losing. I'll lose until I win. That's why I win. That's why you win. That's what it takes, folks. And when you have these capabilities, when you have this mindset, <laughs> a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of people is going to be pissed off. Oh, yes. You're going to piss off a whole lot of people because you have something within you that they're missing. And this is just facts. And they ain't mad at it.